In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this interesting double exposure technique that I came up with, and it's actually pretty simple to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is just grab two video images that we wanna use. So I'm gonna use this classic like close-up portrait style image, and then I'm also gonna fill in the background with this cityscape image. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna scale this up a little bit so that they're both filling in the same size. Now, notice how I have three tracks here, video track one, two, and three. So I've got my background layer as two, I've got my portrait layer as three, and then on the bottom, we're gonna fill that in with a color at the end. But don't worry, we can always arrange that after. So on the top layer, we're gonna first set it up for our effect. So we're gonna look for an effect in the video effects adjust folder called extract. If we click and drag this on to this image, you'll see we get this cool black and white extraction of levels. And in the effect controls panel, we can actually adjust those levels. So you can make the black or white more prominent. And this actually gives you a pretty good degree of control over the sort of selection you need. And you can also adjust the softness to be more or harsh or more soft. And you can also invert it. So keep this in mind, we're gonna use this later. Now, the, on the background layer, we're going to go to another effect called Track Mat Key. This is in the Keying Video Effects folder. Notice how I'm just using the search bar, but you can also find it in this folder. And I'll click and drag this on to the background layer. And under the mat, we're gonna choose Video Track 3 because that's where that layer we're using is on. And we're gonna change it to Mat Luma. So this is gonna take a look at the luminance values or in other words, like the brightness values of it. And it's going to separate the image based on the white and black sections. So you can also reverse this or reverse that. I guess it doesn't really matter. Now, you might be thinking, why would I do it all in this convoluted way? I can just use blending modes like lighten and screen. And that's true. You can use blending modes like lighten and screen if you just want a white or black background. But the cool part about doing it this way is that this background layer is actually transparent. So I can now go in and add anything I want in the background. So I can add a whole nother video clip or in this case, the classic uh, double exposure style. We're going to go to our project menu. We're gonna highlight it and we're gonna go to file, new, color mat, and we'll press okay. And we're gonna just select a color, one of these bright colors from the sky. So I'll take my ink dropper and I'll select one of these bright sky colors and I'll press okay. And that should pop up in your project media panel. And you can click and drag that now on video track one. That's why we left video track one empty. And I can extend it out as long as I need. And now I have this cool double exposure effect with this background. And there really wasn't much masking or anything like that to be done. If you want, you can go back now to the other layers and you can adjust the black and white input levels to see what might work better. And there's nothing stopping you at this point either from adding different effects, like let's say a tint on this uh, skyscraper effect. If so, let's say I just wanted it black and white or if I wanted to adjust it in some other way to be different colors. So you can really continue this composition in whatever style you want. And like I said, you don't just have to use a color mat. There's nothing stopping you from using a video, a completely different video background. So really there's some interesting ideas you can come up with and play around with, but I hope I've shown you some tools and steps that you can use and take from here. So my name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my future videos. And you can find hundreds more already for free in the playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.